Hey guys, it's Mr. Creators, and today I am showing you how you can create, how you can make Minecraft, the simple block building survival game, into an awesome RPG style survival mega ultra beautiful awesome game. Um, this is going to require a lot of mods and also a texture pack. And let me actually quickly apply that texture pack. If we go to options. Texture pack is called A Little Taste of Germ version 2, and I will have a link for all the mods and also this texture pack on Recurse Forge down in the description. So if we just apply this, this right here will be the base texture pack, and this just makes Minecraft look a whole lot better, and also it makes it look like it's set in the medieval time. So we can check out the swords and the weapon and look at the totem of undying that right here the totem of undying here is actually from minecraft dungeons so that's actually the totem regeneration right there which is really really cool beacon looks really nice everything looks really nice but then also we have a lot more mods to install but before i continue um i just have to give a little disclaimer that all these mods are in 1.12.2 and they might not even then they might not work or even be compatible for 1.14.4 so if you don't if they don't work with the newest version of minecraft well then you don't have to find a substitute mod um i just want to do it in 1.12.2 because that's where i found this texture pack and i really love this texture pack the only thing that can make this texture pack a bit better is just the water it looks like milk so it's time to hop into the mods the first mod we have on our list is Biomes of Plenty. Biomes of Plenty is highly configurable, or actually not right here, it's not very configurable. But if we actually go and create a new world, and no, this will not work with pre-existing worlds, unfortunately. You actually have to choose um, the new world type right there. If you go to Customize, and then, yeah, there's three pages, Customization. This page is empty, I don't know why. But as you can see here, there's a lot of crazy awesome stuff. Poison ivy, yeah, just get everything. Nether hives, liquid poison pools, everything we need to make this awesome. Because we can um, change the amplitude, the awesomeness, and we also um, do these limit scales. And then we can actually choose the temperature, the rainfall, the land masses, and the biome sizes. I'm going to keep all this the same. And let's just create this world. I can just show you how beautiful bio Biomes of Plenty is at creating brand new biome generation and also terrain generation. It is really awesome. And of course, I spawn instead of a cliff, but this is the kind of stuff Biomes of Plenty does. Look at this massive Minecraft hill. This is usually not in Minecraft. Nothing goes over the clouds. This is up to the build limit, guys. This right here is Biomes of Plenty in action. Just look at this. If you go up here, as you can see, this is a brand new biome. It is the Alps. This is not in Minecraft, but it sure is. And here, and let's try to make it into the water. Ah! Diving into our next mod, we have the Ice and Fire mod, which adds in this really, really cool bird monster, as well as some awesome dragons. We also have a brand new armor set, the Silver set. You can get some dragon eggs dragon scales and look at these flamed dragon bone sword and yeah, there's a lot of awesome crazy stuff in this mod and i thought that this mod would be perfect because dragons are mythical creatures and usually in rpgs so how do i summon a dragon plus summon dragon dude over nine thousand ah <laughs> but instead we can actually just uh Actually, maybe grab a spawn egg. Is there spawn eggs in this? I hope that there is. Dragon spawn egg? Nope. Oh, yeah, there is dragon spawn eggs. Dread knights? These are not dragons. You see, there's a lot of crazy stuff here. We have pixies, gorgons, hippogriffs. Oh, this fire dragon. And ice dragon. Ha! Huh. Fire and ace. And I mean, ice. Can't speak. Oh, look that! Look at that! They're fighting. These are really small. We need to find some big ones. But yeah, that's actually really, really awesome as well. And that is why I think we should add um, fire and ice. And also, you need L Library 
to actually make this mod work or else it will just crash all the time when you try to load it up. It won't even tell you that you need a library. It will just crash. So that's kind of sad. But, um, yeah. These are actually really, really, oh! Oh, no, 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 the dragon dot, bad dragon. Let me get out my ultra dragon hunting sword of doom and let me burn this dragon. How much health does this thing have? But yeah, these have a lot of health, so it will not be easy fighting them at all. You know what, I, I don't even want to bother killing you. In a true RPG game, there's always some type of thing to level up or choose a class, and that is what the level up mod does. You will always spawn with this book, the skill book. You can open this item and you can actually choose, um, you can actually choose a class, you can press one of these, and you can actually, um, do a lot of really cool classes and get a lot of cool achievements. Warrior, all around combat class. You can only choose one per world to confirm. And just like that, if we open it back again, as you can see, this is a different menu. So that is because we chose the warrior. Combat specialization, you get random criticals, melee damage, archery, arrow speed, stealth, stealth damage, shield proficiency, and also iron skin. In combat, we have mining and also crafting. So this is a really, really awesome mod if you want to have some type of RPG element, in which we really do want, since we're trying to make this into the coolest Minecraft RPG building survival game there is. So I'll see you guys in the next mod. And the last mods we have are Auto Reg Library, Phosphor, Quark, Recurrent Complex, and Toro Hut. Let me just quickly explain what all these does. Recurrent Complex adds in a bunch of dungeons and a lot of cool stuff. Quark adds in just a lot of random stuff, which is really useful just to add some more aspects to Minecraft. Phosphor re um, reworks the lightning system and also boosts your FPS, which is always really nice. And Toro HUD, which is a HUD mod, which enhances the GUI of Minecraft. So I'll see you in the game. Um, I'll showcase off these features, and then I'll show you all the features in one really, really awesome Minecraft survival world with ultimate terrain, and also I forgot IV toolkit as well. Uh, so yeah, my bad. So as you can see, we have a message from Recurrent Complex. 187 active structures. And here's all the structures. Yeah, next page, next page, a lot of pages. Uh, that is a lot of pages. Look at all these structures. These are all in Minecraft now. So actually, if we go try to find one, hopefully we can. Because there's 187 of them, hopefully we just find one. Maybe. This is from Biomes of Plenty, I think. Wait, why is there a Biomes of Plenty? In here? We don't even have that installed. No, this is just a Swampland. No, wait, I, this might even work? I honestly don't know. I have a ton of mods installed right now. As you can see, we have structure tools, and for some reason, Quarks is not working. That's weird. Quark, actually, no, maybe. I don't know what's wrong. Nope, these are from Quark. Yeah, all these items are from Quark. And then I believe that this is from um, the Structures mod. And also we have a lot of other awesome stuff as well. Let's try to test out the HUD. Let's get a spawn egg. Fox sound, maybe. And then as you can see that, we actually have a damage indicator on here, which is really cool. Grab a diamond sword. You can just swing at this thing. And it drops a lot of cool stuff. So I'll see you guys with all the mods installed and really awesome, cool generation stuff. And I'll just see you guys there. So as you can see, when we load up Minecraft, we have the ice and fire background screen. And we just have a whole bunch of mods on the side. So let it, let's create a brand new world under... I have some plenty. Next, create a brand new world with all our awesome mods. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you were to subscribe as we're on our way to 150 subscribers. 
If you enjoyed the video, please like, as it helps support my channel a lot. And I just want to thank you guys for watching this far into the video. Wow, look at this, guys. Biomes are plenty here. Massive field of just epicness. We have some sheep. The sun. Wow. This is beautiful. Just look at this. Oh, whoops, it crashed for some reason. Uh, th that sucks. Uh, hold on. So, guys, this is actually the end of the video here. I cannot get this to work for some reason. But you saw the mods, and I'll, I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye, guys.